Welcome back. Yeah, you're right. Live bait, live minnows, catching them right here at this spot where I was the other day. And then we're going to take them somewhere else and hopefully catch fish with them. This is my live well. A subscriber, a good friend actually in Oklahoma, sent this to me. First time using it this year. I'm just gonna do this. I typically would call these a grass shrimp net, but minnows, a net for minnows, a dip net, called different things. And I do say minnows, but these might not be minnows. We might be catching mollies. There's a lot right here. Oh, shoot. I stepped a little too far and went off the deep end there. That is a type of molly right there. <laughs> that is black, black mud. This corner of the pond back here, it's a lot deeper than I thought. A lot of this pond is really shallow. Maybe about three feet right there is still a bunch here oh we got a, quite a few in the, on that scoop some of them are really small but that's the size right there that I'm looking for there's a huge school of bigger ones right here in front of us there's something attacking them eating them There's also a baby alligator right here and over there. I'm gonna try it at least once because some of these are probably big enough to not go through the mesh. Well, we got quite a few, but one of the things that always happens when you throw a cast net on this pond is you pick up tons of that black stuff. There's like pounds of it here. Listen, you hear how that hit right there? So we're not gonna just dump the net right into the live well. And this will probably be, like I said, we'll just try it once, see what we get. We did get some bigger ones in here but we're gonna have to see there's one right there we're gonna have to pick them out this is actually a really special day for me this is the first time fishing with this rod here this is a three-piece 10-foot float rod check it out this is something out of the carp world right by float max it's made by, actually it's called Float Max. It's by NGT. This is not an expensive brand. I ordered this out of Oklahoma from a site called BigCarpTackle.com. This is the equivalent of a medium light rod, right? 10 feet. This is what you would use if you were waggler fishing in the UK for silverfish, something similar to what we're going to target today, but we're going to get cats with this as well. You can see it's got a lot of play in the tip. Now we got a sizable reel on here, 60. It's got 12 pound mono, and we have a bait runner. So 
if we get a sizable fish, we do have the ability to let them run and play them out for a while. Because obviously, a bigger fish, maybe in that 10 to 20 pound range, is going to break this rod if you try to hoss it in, if you try to just muscle it in fast. You're not going to do that with this. You're going to have to play it in slowly. Lots of fun. I'm looking forward to it. Come on. Size four mosquito hook. I'm just going to put one of those on the end. Here we go. Now I'm just going to get this through his mouth if I can. There we go. And right, oh. There we go, right through the eye socket. He'll stay alive. I don't want to put this out too far. Just right there for the moment. There's a lot of live bait coming through here and every now and then something will bust it. I did throw the net a second ago. Didn't film it. I was trying to clean the net and I caught small mullet in it. Like very small mullet. Mullet that I could fish underneath this cork as well. So I got a maybe about two feet of a depth underneath a sizable cigar float that's weighted. And that's the only weight is the cigar float itself. I changed spots. The wind is a uh, wind is coming up, but right where I put the float, it's a little bit protected. My second rod, I took the float off. Now I just want to put a small live bait on this jig head and fish it on the bottom right in front of this bulkhead we're fishing off of. There we go. First fish on the live bay. I've had quite a few bites. Maybe from crabs, maybe from other fish. This is actually the first legit catch of just having to put the jig head with the live bait right on the bottom and let it sit. I'm gonna do one more. Finally, first fish on the float rod oh what do we got look at that i told you probably going to be a, a catfish thing got another channel cat i would like to get something even bigger on this float rod because that's where the fun is i believe something was eating at you This is a bigger fish. Ain't happy, listen to that. While my live bait is still actually live bait, I'm gonna go target a different body of water. It's not far. I'm going to fish worm here as well. So I've got the live bait to the side right over there. Probably will change his position here and there as I go through the session. I was up on the ICW not just to fish with live bait, but I wanted to see if I could catch some sizable mullet in the cast net for the river. And I did get some, like a couple of small ones. So I thought I would just come here and see what we could do. Gotcha. Nice. Oh, that is nice. Look at that. Look at that. 
Yeah. Nice fat bluegill with the green face. Check that out. That is beautiful. Oh. Live bait might is that I don't know if that this is a the live bait's pulling. This is a bigger live bait. Maybe it's pulling that cork down, but maybe not. Maybe not. This might be another gar. Yep. I think we just have a solid hookup this time. Wow. Look where the hookup is. Right at the tip of the snout. That was a little baby mullet. Alright, that was kind of fun. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. There one. There we go, nice. Oh, ho, ho. another big one. Nice. Big bluegill coming out of here. Okay. First it was there, and now I don't know where it is, but this float has totally disappeared took my eye off it for a second maybe it's a gar again the first place we tried this it was all cats hitting not that that's what we were planning on doing right and here we were hoping bass or something would hit these live baits but of course i knew in the back of my mind it was going to be probably all gar here we go we got a hook up is it a gar or is it a it's like a bullhead actually yeah, look at that. The bullhead, and he swallowed it. So, okie dokie. Okay, that was kind of fun. Not what I wanted, but just about really close to what I expected. Catfish close in on that live bait, and then just gar here. Really want to try it again. I love doing that sort of thing, catching live minnows, shiners, shad. And then fishing them under a cork or some other way live and see what we get. I know there's white bass running up and down in the ICW. So to another, we're just going to chalk it up to another day. We're going to come out another day and do this. But we're calling it right now because I need to get home. So thanks for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing, being a member of the channel. And I will see you next time.